We have mentioned Kawhi a couple times recently on the podcast, and I know this morning one of the points that I made was how impressive it was, well, at least I was impressed, that coming off that double overtime game where both you and him played heavy milk and he <laughs> played 46, you guys were in the lineup on Sunday. And again, the expectation, like I said at the beginning of this sh this show, is the expectation was you guys would probably, you know, rest. And with Kawhi specifically over his last 19 games played, the stats are great, but it's to me, it's the 37 minutes a game. And you've been around him now. This is your fourth season together. Obviously, he was hurt for an entire season, but when he's at his best, like he has been in this stretch, people talk about him being a robot because of the, the personality he portrays in the media. Mm -hmm. But to me, he's like a, he's almost like a surgeon. There's such a precision. There's no wasted movement. There's never any wasted dribble. What do you see as his teammate, someone who has guarded him as a competitor? What is Kawhi at his best? At his best, he is <clears throat> elite. Like there's, he's the best player on the floor when he's at his best. Like there's, there's no question on his game and his, his leadership. It's just crazy to watch him like on his practice days, his off days, like everything is a routine with, with Kawhi. Like you, when they talk about Kobe and they, and you hear stories about how MJ operated, it, it goes, it falls right in line with, with how Kawhi operates. Like he'll go through, you know, he'll go through a move and he'll make this basket 10 times. And then it's a progression from there. It's a counter from there. And then he'll go through that 10 times. And then it's, it's a, a counter from there. And he'll go through that. Like he'll go through about five or six counters just off of one move before he goes to another spot. Like it's, it's just crazy to watch him work and, and to watch him, you know, work on his craft. And, um, you know, when he's on the floor, it just gives you the ultimate confidence that like, you know, it, we got like, we got him on our side. You know what I mean? Like a guy that is a pure bucket. He, he, he loves the moment. You know, he, he doesn't shy away from the moment. He steps up in the biggest times, you know, even, you know, the slow start that he had, it was like, all right, he's, you know, we're good. He's, he's getting good looks. He's getting good shots. Like he's going to turn this game around at some point and we're going to be in the game because of his shot making ability and his playmaking and, like just his overall presence on the floor. Um, I think that's another thing that doesn't get talked about is just his presence on the floor. Like it is it and, and people uh, you you watch him match up against other people. It's just an ultimate respect when it comes to Kawhi. Like they they know what he's about. They know, you know, that it's gonna be a rough night. Um, like nobody, the 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 guys that talk the most trash don't they don't say sh shit to Kawhi. <laughs> like they know what it is. Whereas over here, they're like, "Oh, I can talk it to Paul. Like he'll he'll talk back." But you know, Kawhi, it's, it's respect over here. I always, um, I always, I always tell this story. <laughs> um, when we played the Spurs in 2015 in the first round, Kawhi guarded me for a lot of that series. And mm -hmm. again, not an easy matchup for me physically. It's mm -hmm. just it was a little bit of a mismatch, but. <laughs> there was, there was a play where him and I kind of got into like, it wasn't a scuffle, but it was like, we were, we were like tangled up and mm -hmm. the ball, you know, kind of went away from us and, uh, we got fouled. So it was, a, it was a free throw and we both went to go behind the three point line and we were kind of running into each other's path. And I kind of just wanted to acknowledge that it was no beef. Like I'm just trying to play hard and compete. And so I kind of like all good, you know, tapped him on the, the stomach and I remember thinking to myself, is he fucking made of steel? Like, what did I just touch? <laughs> what did I just touch? And a great example of that was last in last night's game. I'm sure you remember this play, but, you know, Jokic is coming down the floor and he's matched up with Jokic. And Jokic tries to draw a flop. He, you know, he walks into him and it's like Kawhi doesn't yeah. budge. So Jokic gets up, set a pick and roll with Jamal Murray. He switches out. He knocks the ball away. Murray goes and gets the ball. He knocks the ball away again. And it's that the the point you're making about his presence on the floor, like it's beyond mm -hmm. just the mid-range precision and the three-point shooting. 
he's someone that like disrupts everything you're mm-hmm. trying to do on the other end. And that's where I think mm-hmm. for a wing player, when he's fully engaged and fully healthy, there's really no one better at that two way thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember like when, you know, when we would match up, uh, when we weren't, when we weren't playing together, when we were matched up and I was in Indy and he was in San Antonio or even Oklahoma and he was in Toronto. Like every time we matched up, it was like, like, I gotta, like, I gotta make sure I am like, everything is efficient because like you could lose Kawhi, but somehow like he's in the play. Like I never understood it. Like I could, I could get by him sometimes. And like, he's still there. Like it's still a, a big ass hand that's coming (laughs) to contest. And it's like, where where did you come from? Like, he just has a knack and, and an ability to stay in a play. Like it, it's, it's almost, it's impressive. Like it it is super impressive because like as good as he's great, phenomenal defensively, but there's times where somebody might beat him, but then he like has this crazy ability. It's like his arms get longer, his fingers stretch further. And he has a way to get back into play. That's like super impressive. It's like, he just like, he just has this grip on the floor where he, you know, get anywhere and, and close anything off. It, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to watch. It, it, it is crazy to watch. We hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.